I'm on the way to work. Um, I was just thinking about like my work currently. Uh, where do I think that my work ethic is at? And it's it's funny because sometimes whenever I think I work hard, I end up meeting somebody that I think works so much harder than me. And then it just bothers me because I don't feel like I'm working hard enough, right? And it's just interesting. But I think that the biggest thing that helped to uh, change my perception of work, because I think some sometimes people think of work as a, as a bad thing, as like a, a task that drains you. And I don't look at work that way anymore. I look at work as something that I look forward to doing. I feel like work works on me. I feel like I become better through my work. I don't work hard so that I can do something. I work hard because I enjoy working hard. I work hard and I want to better better myself at working hard because that is a character trait that I would like to continue to kind of hone and develop the quality of being a hard worker and knowing how to put the hours in. Sense. Yo, Max, you want something from the gas station? No, I'm good. You good? Do they want something? Y'all want anything from the gas station? No? Okay, bet. I know it's a great haircut, but don't cry. Don't cry, little baby. Don't cry, little baby. Good morning. You guys got an appointment today? Awesome. It's 11.32. It's not even noon yet. Seven heads in. Seven heads in, not even noon yet. Hashtag, stop playing with me. Hashtag, call them. And when you call them, tell them. Stop playing with me now. This is now this week is cool because this week is the six month mark of me and Dave being in the shop. We started in the shop February on uh, the first week, and then now it is uh August, so six months. First week, and y'all saw a clip of the shop how it's looking. Sometimes we think so small minded, it's just like how we can get booked. How can you get a shop booked? You see what I'm saying? Like. It's bigger than Instagram reels, bro. Instead of thinking, how can you just get yourself booked? How can you get the whole shop booked? How can you get everybody in the shop booked? Because if you can get a whole shop booked, you're going to have no problem getting booked yourself. If you have walk-ins that are waiting to get a cut, how much do you care <laughs> that your appointment is no call, no show? You can just get the walk-in. Bada bing, bada boom. What's up? Round two. We have like nine minutes before my next appointment. I am on time for today. Today I'm killing it. I'm at 17 cuts. I got four more left. Let's see. It's chop. You're good. No, you're good. It's not that deep. Turn around, please. Turn. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jordan and Crispy cuts. The last cut of the day. Done in the barbershop. Wow. Tell them, Dave. Come on. Bruh. End the vlog off right. How many people did you cut today? 
21. How many people did I cut today? 17. 17. How many people did you cut today? Nine. Nine. Three He's more. been here. Three more. He's been here for two months. This is our six month anniversary. Six month anniversary of us being together. Right? Six months? Anyway, this is my six month anniversary in the shop, okay? And we put out some freaking cuts today. Mm. What time did you come in? Seven. Seven o'clock. What time is it now? Eight twelve. Listen, if you guys are barbers and y'all are looking to grow your business, to learn, to do the type of stuff that we're doing mm. in six months starting from nothing, mm. yo, one, DM this man at mm. Jordy and Perez on Instagram with two Z's or mm. get in the comments, get in contact with him somehow. Mm. But you need to get a part or to be a part of the Six Figure Barber Mentorship Program. Mm from Chris Basio in Tune 45, without which we would not be able to do what we're doing right now. So shout out Tune 45, shout out Basio, but shout out us for putting in the freaking work because none of it matter if you're not executing, mm. correct? So you're saying that's not about just learning it. It's just saying you have to do the stuff? No. Is that what you're saying? If you hear the word, Mm. What does it say? What is it? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How Are you about to pull the Bible out? I'm about this? to pull the Bible out. It oh, said, says, if you hear the word and don't do the word, you like a man that looks at himself in the mirror and then turns away and forgets what he looks like. You got to do the word. Mm -hmm. So when we get in the word, we mm -hmm. got to do it. You hear me? I hear you. I hear you. Did that make sense? It makes sense. You went biblical on me. I wasn't ready for the biblical part, but... Yeah, Maybe they need a little bit of biblical talk. Pretty much, you can learn all that you want to learn, but if you're not like Brandon, or if you're not like Dave to actually put in the work, you're not well, going to get the Jordan results. Jordan Crispy Cuts Perez. Jordan Crispy Cuts Perez, right? <laughs> Brandon, you had a good week? Amazing. When did you graduate barber school? May 16th. Okay, then. Have a nice day. Thank you.